convenient. Has your pilot's license. Web companies and at the Knowledge Society Showcase, she presented her work on brain-machine interfaces, which is what you've brought for us today, right? You are sure. controlling an RC car with your brain! Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So tell us, how does this work? For sure. So, as you can see, I have electrodes taped to my face, and... And I have one on my forehead and two on my ears. So pretty much when you're, you do different tasks, your brain emits different frequencies of hertz. And so the one on my face is collecting like the different hertz that I'm emitting. And if it's between 7 and 12, that's typically associated with focus. And the ears are like biases, so you know what to compare it to as the baseline. And when it connects to the computer, I am able to find out what hertz of uh, frequency I'm in. And I wrote a program and algorithm that says... If focused, so if in between this threshold, make the car go forward. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got a lot of wires hooked up to you. Are you worried about electrocution or anything like that ever? Yeah, for sure. So it's really interesting. Um, as you can see, I have a battery pack here, and the electrodes are connected only to this uh, interface here, and the information collected by the battery pack and the board gets sent via Bluetooth to my computer. So the reason for that is because you don't want to get electrocuted. Right. So you have a battery pack as your only source of power connected to your brain, not directly to your computer. Yeah, because we don't want to have a big Frankenstein moment here. Uh -huh. Now, I know that you're able to also control something else with your brain. Can you show us what that is? Yeah, for sure. So I can also control music with my brain. Uh, so I can show you a demo here. I'll just start, and you'll be able to see how it works. Okay. Great. So... Wow. Like a human remote control. This yeah. is fantastic. Well, it's incredible that this works. Where do you see the future of all this technology going? Yeah, so I... Oh, just enough. Um, I think... Also, you are aware of artificial intelligence, machine learning, quantum machine learning are all tools that humans are using in order to solve really tough problems. Mm -hmm. And as a result, the rate of this, this technology improving has been exponential. But something really interesting is the rate of human intelligence improving has remained stagnant. And a lot of really smart people in the world think that this, this could be a huge problem. Because the only way we're going to solve a lot of important problems in our future as a species is if we increase human intelligence. If we mind meld with the machines? That is an option, but definitely, like, add some sort of enhancements to ourselves so that we don't get wiped out and can have the most successful future. So that's where the whole field of brain-computer interfaces comes in, and I'm super excited about the tech because I think <laughs> that there'll be huge implications in the future. Um, Elon Musk, Brian Johnson think that in 50 years we'll all have brain chips allowing us to be smarter, communicate faster, communicate with things we've never even thought to communicate with before, like the internet. So wow. This is the field that I'm super interested and involved with. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. We're already very lucky to have such an intelligent being as yourself. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much for having me. We're starting digital off with a new action cam that doesn't require daylight to record your